everybody, Mimi's back. Okay, so I have our second book for the night and I'm super excited, it's another Andrew favorite. So Andrew used to love to me reading to him. Your mommy, Sydney, not so much. She didn't like reading, but Andrew did. So I got to read all these really awesome books. So the book tonight, is this time, is going to be Milk and Cookies. And it has like a dragon and a teddy bear. Pretty exciting. It's a Frank Ash Bear story. You excited? I'm excited. I might even tell Uncle Andrew that I read these again. Ready? One winter day, the Bear family went to visit Grandma and Grandpa. When it got to be late, too late to go home, Grandma made up the couch for them in the living room. Do some of you have a bed in your couch? Mimi has slept on a couple of those. Good night, said Grandma and Grandpa. Good night, said Mama Bear. Good night, said Baby Bear. And they all went to sleep. In the middle of the night, Baby Bear heard a noise, and he woke up. Then he saw a strange red light coming from the cellar door. Living in Florida, we don't have a cellar. It's kind of like a basement. It's underneath your house. He climbed out of bed and tiptoed to the door to see what it was. He didn't want to make any noise, so he just peeked through the keyhole. What he, what he saw looked like a giant dragon with flames shooting out of its mouth and Grandpa was there feeding it. I don't know if Papa has a dragon that he's feeding. When the dragon shut its mouth, Grandpa came upstairs. Is there anything wrong? asked Grandpa. No, I'm okay, said Baby Bear. Would you like some milk and cookies? asked Grandpa. No, thank you, said Baby Bear. And he went back to bed. I want milk and cookies. That night, Baby Bear dreamed that the cellar door came open and the dragon, I don't know, came upstairs. I'm hungry, said the dragon. Baby Bear ran into the kitchen and opened the refrigerator. Do you see the little mice by the broom? Right there. See the kitty cat sleeping on the refrigerator? He poured a glass of milk and opened a box of cookies. Thank you, said the dragon. I like milk and cookies and he ate everything all up. <gasps> that dragon has a food belly. He didn't even save any of the milk and cookies or even one cookie for Baby Bear. Just then, Baby Bear woke up crying. Mama and Papa Bear woke up too. Baby Bear told them his dream. Whenever, whatever gave you an idea that there was a dragon in the cellar, asked Mama Bear. I saw it, said Baby Bear. I'll come downstairs with you, 
asked Papa, oh, if I come downstairs with you, asked Papa Bear, will you show me the dragon? Okay, said Baby Bear. And they went downstairs. In the corner where Baby Bear thought he had seen a dragon, there was a wood stove. Papa Bear opened the door and the flames inside were glowing, glowed brightly. There you see, said Papa Bear, there's no dragon in the cellar, it's just the old wood stove. When they went back upstairs, Grandma and Grandpa were up. Is everything all right, asked Grandma. It is now, said Papa Bear. Good, said Grandpa. Let's all have some, say it with me if you know it, milk and cookies. The end. That one was also a really fun book. I thank you for letting me read it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I love milk and cookies. I think Mimi's going to go have some milk and cookies now. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Bye, Flint.